to Letterkenny and Rathmullen we go, aiming for Fernod Head Lighthouse. Built in 1817, it's officially one of the most beautiful lighthouses in the world, so it's okay to like it. People were living here 6,000 years ago, but they didn't build a castle that we know of until the 14th century. The father of Irish independence, Wolf Tone, was captured in a sea battle here in 1798. In the 1840s, the population was devastated by the Great Hunger, but not completely. There were enough survivors for the third Earl of Leitrim, William Sidney Clements, in 1878 to evict. However, in the middle of this process, he was interrupted by three of the 80 tenants whose interruption consisted of murdering him. Oddly, no one was ever convicted. The residents were also known to burn innocent kelp to extract and sell iodine. They would cross to Island Roy on stilts to gather the seaweed, or as they prefer to be called, kelp, or as we kids preferred to call them, junk to pie. I got a grant from the Sweeney clan to do a dance to the flora of the region. Okay, the region next door, but I couldn't book a field over there.